locate exam view and open it up from your desktop. From here, we're just going to use the test wizard to create a simple math test using our question banks. Use third grade in lesson one, click next, and we'll just choose about 10 different questions just so you can get the idea here. You notice there are four answers for each question. Now this time, instead of saving it, we're going to export it as a rich text format, which is a type of Word document. And we'll choose to save this to our desktop to make it easier to find later. We'll just call this math. You'll see it's an RTF. Click Save, and you can close Exam View out. And click No, because we exported it. We didn't save it. Using Microsoft Word, we're going to open up that document you can see it is on our desktop. Just click it and click open. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, delete the instructions to make it a little bit easier to navigate through here. We'll delete the instructions and in between each question, answering question, we're going to give it uh, a couple extra spaces. The idea is to have between two to three spaces between the answer and the next question. Right. We've skipped ahead and we're going to delete the answer key at the very end. Now we're going to highlight all by pressing Control A. We're going to change the font so it's a, about a 26 font. You want to make it a little bit larger to see. And now we'll save as and just save it over that file, that rich text format. We'll click yes. From here, now you can close out the document. And beyond question, I'm going to go to Lesson. You see it's untitled. Click Open. And we save this to the desktop. It was called Math. And then click Open. And it formats it and brings it in there. We're going to save as, we'll just call this Math. And now it's saved as a BQL for Beyond Question Lesson. Now by pressing Control A, I highlighted all of them and changed the type of each question to A through D. Otherwise, a student could answer J when that's not even an option. So you want to limit them to just A through B. And now you can see what it looks like in the question remote mode. The only thing left to do is to change each answer. And now you're ready to take the test.